hey guys welcome to the cord mat uh, if you are new to the channel please do subscribe we solve a lot of competitive problems today's problem is q reconstruction by height what problem says is suppose you have a random list of people standing in a queue each person is described by a pair of integer h and k where h is the height of that person and k is the number of people in front of this person who have a height greater than or equal to h write an algorithm to reconstruct the queue so we have a, a number of person given in the input two dimensional array with h and k currently it's in it is not in a order which we are expecting like uh, every person should have k number of persons stand k number of persons should standing in front of that person having a height is greater or equal to the what uh, current person has the height okay that is what the rearrangement we would like to do okay so now let's understand with the example uh, here the given uh, as this two dimensional area where uh, for first person the height is 7 and uh, we are expecting only 0 or, or 0 number of persons to be in front of this person so that way all all the data is given in the two dimensional area and expected output is uh, this is what the correct arrangement for that so for this first pair in the result uh, expected is to uh, zero person uh, which has a higher height as compared to the current height five and the same way goes to seven uh, there also we the expected is to only zero person uh, which are uh, ahead of that person same it goes for 5 and 2 so here if we calculate there are two already two persons uh, one is this pair and other is the person itself which are two person are uh, standing uh, ahead of that person At the same way it goes for here so for this one we already have a two so it's already satisfying the condition for 4 4 we want four uh, four person which should have a height is greater than the 4 so we already have 4 pairs and same goes for the 7 one because this pair is already satisfying that result also the same pair is also satisfying so we have already 2 persons standing uh, uh, ahead of that person which is having a height uh, greater than the 7 now let's understand the solution approach for this so in the solution let's first understand with this example where we have each person having the same height let's say okay and our k is a different so the first pair we have a height is equal to 7 we want 0 person to be uh, standing uh, ahead of that person same goes for 7 2 and 7 1 so in this case it is pretty simple for us like as height is same so we can directly arrange based on their whatever the uh, requirement in the k okay so output for this one is going to be like let's say if you write output for this because we have only uh, height group as a 7 only we do not have any different heights so output is going to be first pair is going to be 7 0 uh, second pair is going to be 7 1 and third pair is going to be 7 2 because we do not have a different height over here okay all heights are same so we do not need to worry about it now let's see the second example okay in the second example i already put it the previous three elements or previous three person and then i have added three more pairs from uh, weight is all three pairs having the same weight six uh, six six okay so let's say if it is going to be only this three okay then we know the result what is going to be okay so let's say if it is seven zero then we will have a 7 1 okay and then 7 2 okay now here we also have a second group of uh, person which is having a same weight so this is what the second group now if we consider this one also as a separate array now let's say if it is a given input array is having only this three person is a 666 six, six, then result we know that it is going to be first person is going to be 6 0 uh, then you have a 6 1 and then 6 2 okay but we also have a other person which is having a higher weight so it is always a good to add the this person's 
in the in between here if you take this way 6 0 will always satisfy the condition which we want because the higher weight or higher uh, height person is already ahead of that person okay same way we can add 6 1 over here and 6 and 2 over here okay okay so our result is going to be uh, 7 0 okay then 6 0 and then 7 1 6 1 7 2 and 6 2 okay so this is what the result array is going to be now let's understand the same logic with the what whatever the in example given in the uh, main question all right so this is what the input array given to us now let's first make a group of way, uh, persons based on their weight so highest weight is seven and we have a two persons from that category okay uh, first pair okay and the uh, third pair so this two person having the same weight uh, the next is we have a weight is equal to 6 then we have 6 and 1 okay for 5 we have 2 pairs 5 0 and 5 2 okay and for 4 we have one pair only okay 4 4 all right so now let's put this uh, uh, pairs in a uh, queue so first we will pick uh, highest weight person and we will put both the pairs uh, at index 0 and 1 first based on what we have discussed previously so first we will put this uh, 7 0 and then 7 1 okay now we will pick 6 next element is a 6 or next person is uh, having a weight, height is equal to 6 so in that case uh, that that says that one person needs to have a higher height as compared to uh, 1 so we already have a 7 0 and uh, one more so if we will put this pair as index 1 so this whatever the current pair we have 7 1 that is going to be moved to one more uh, index uh, right hand side okay so this is going to be 7 0 then we have here as 6 1 and then we have 7 1 okay now same way if we take a 5 okay it says 5 0 and 5 2 okay so our 5 0 will come at a 0th index so same way this all three will shift one location to the right side we'll add 5 0 first and then rest of this okay let's say seven zero six one and seven one so this way this all four fours four uh, pairs are currently uh, satisfying the condition which we want okay now the second pair that from the five is we have five two so we will edit it a uh, index five two so that that is going to come at this position okay so we will add 5 2 over there okay and same goes for the 4 4 so that that will come at this position okay all right so what we did here is first we have sh shorted them based on their height okay and then if the height is same so in this case let's say if their height is same then in that case we would like to do a shorting uh, based on their um, the k value okay so this this height short is going to be a uh, descending order the uh, highest height is going to become first and within the same we would like to do ascending order of shorting based on indexes once we receive this data 
and then we will add this data to the list okay to perform this operations at each k we will try to add that pair and if there is a already pair present in this case here when we are adding a 6 1 7 1 was already there but for this less higher uh, height we would like to add it at a uh, index 1 this one will get first precedence as compared to this one so in that case we will add this whatever the currently generated sorted data to the list and then again we will return that list we will convert that to the array and then we will return it so that's it in the uh, explanation now let's go back to the code and write a code for that all right now let's first short our array array store short people okay we'll give a custom con uh, comparator x y so if both person having the same weight is equal to y of 0 so in that case we would like to uh, short based on their uh, k value sorry 1 minus y of 1 okay else we would like to short based on their height sorry 0 minus x of 0 y of 0 x of 0 yes okay so the our shorting logic is ready our error got sorted based on the what the logic we have discussed previously now let's define a uh, queue or list array which is finally going to be our queue which is a type pair okay this sorry okay now list is ready now let's run loop i is equal to 0 i less than people dot length plus plus okay now let's add it so every entry we will add it at the k position so we'll take that and one and we'll add that entry over there so that way our our final uh, queue is going to be in a expected order okay so our queue is ready now let's let's return that queue return uh, list dot to array okay now we'll provide a constructor integer as and this is the length of that okay now let's run it okay it got finished looks to be good now let's submit it okay it got submitted so that's it in this video hope you like it uh, please add comments if you have a different approach or you are looking for a solution for a different problem thank you guys